All right. Uh, well, it's, um, you know, disappointing uh, finish there today. Um, I have a lot of respect for the way the players competed, have all year. Um, I, mean, I thought that was a, you know, comp uh, indicative of the competitiveness, you know, at the end on the strip after the interception uh, and the recovery by low, you know, really gave himself up on it and just, you know, played hard. And, um, but, you know, we just couldn't make enough plays to win. So, um, you know, it's a disappointing year for all of us, um, players, coaches, staff, entire organization, um, and not, not anything that any of us are – in any way content with so um but it is what it is so um i'll address some questions on the game um as far as the future goes i'll sit down with robert as i do every year at some point at the end of the season and you know we'll talk about things as we always do i'm sure that'll happen um but that's really about all i have to say about that right now because there's nothing else to talk about so any questions on the Jets game? Happy to take a few of those. So we're going to take about five or six questions. We'll start with Mike. <clears throat> Bill, did um, Nathan Rourke outperform Mack in practice that led to him being the number two uh, for the game today? Yeah, Nathan had a good week of practice, so um, you know, we activated him for the second spot. <clears throat> uh, Bill, Coming off the field today, did you have any different feelings about the end of today coming off that field? Disappointed about the way the game turned out, sure. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Do you expect to be coaching the team here next year? It's disappointed in the way the game finished, yeah. Hey, Bill, this was potentially Matthew Slater's final game. One of a handful of players you've coached who are arguably the best at their position in the history of the NFL. What has the players like Matthew and those players meant to you in your career? Yeah, I mean, I've spoken about Matthew uh, at length. Um, I would just be reiterating the same positive comments about his greatness um, on the field, off the field, uh, as a teammate, um, his work ethic, his training. His unselfishness um, on a daily basis. He's just exemplary. And to watch his growth from, you know, when he was a rookie coming out of UCLA and trying to find a little bit of position on offense and defense and ultimately, you know, becoming, I would say, as good a special teams player as ever played this game. Certainly he has the, everything to back that up based on his long, sustained success and being the targeted guy every week. Um, you know, his leadership and and, uh, and presence in the for the team, not just the players, but the organization, the staff. I mean, he's an inspiration to all of us. Uh, Bill, from Bailey's play as the starting quarterback <clears throat> over the last few games, what have you seen from him in terms of his ability to lead the team, and where do you see him standing in terms of his? Uh, competition for the starting quarterback position moving forward? Yeah, well, moving forward, that's a whole other conversation about everything. So um, but I think he's progressed, you know, weekly in his preparation. He's certainly learned from the experiences that he's had um, as a young player that, you know, has a long way to go and, you know, has a long future in front of him. So we'll see. Bill, is it your preference to come back next season and coach the team? Yeah, so I just finished the game here with the Jets, put everything I had into it, and I'm uh, disappointed in the results. It's our understanding that you're under contract for next year. Is it, is it your hope to come back? And I just finished the game with the Jets, Phil. It was a very, I you know, put everything I had into it this week and try to prepare our team the best I could to play in it. Um, Bill, the loss to the Jets did drop you to 4-13. and 13. Would you characterize this as one of the most difficult seasons you've ever coached? And has it taken any of the wind out of your sails as far as the effort it takes to coach? Uh, no, I mean, I enjoy coaching. Um, like I said, it was a disappointing season. I covered that in the opening statement. I really don't have anything to add. That's how I feel. But 
No, I still I like coaching the team. I like preparing the team, game planning, coaching on Sundays. Um, but the results weren't good, and none of us are happy with those. So, okay. Thank you.